I want to ask Zack. Will they add USS North Carolina into Concole? Because I saw a picture of the new USS warship named USS Iowa and this USS warship girl named USS North Carolina with USS Iowa. And also tell me how do you like USS Iowa? I'm just saying. Uh, this picture? Eh, the developers likely will. Eventually. Maybe. We shall see. I don't work for Katakawa, of course, but I highly doubt she'll look anything like what you see in this picture. Simply because this is clearly a fan-made design. And we all certainly know by now just how well the community's speculation has panned out on Katakawa's artists painting anything resembling any fan artist's interpretation of a ship before she's been featured in-game. But to be fair, I do prefer this version of Iowa. Do you feel bad for Kashima? All the time, honestly. Kashima's issue is basically the same as Nagato's, really. A handful of people or a person with a lot of fans perceives a character how they want to, and then that image gets widespread to the point that this fan-made image becomes the face of the character, rather than, you know, the character Katakawa wrote and designed themselves being the face of the character. Wow, that statement could even apply to Iowa, couldn't it? So now Nagato's a lesbian child molester, and Kashima's the sluttiest daddy-humping whore we've ever seen in the game's history up to this point despite neither of them actually being these things. Not even close. Nagato's a beefcake who takes charge. And you know what? A lot of us have softer sides. I can totally believe that Nagato might find something irresistibly cute. I mean, she has one of the best secretary marriage lines ever, so I'd believe it. But notching it up to children? Even forcing other Kanmusu to become children? You're basically projecting your own lollicon thoughts onto a character who doesn't deserve it. It's like trying to fit a rectangular prism into a tiny star-shaped hole. Ew. And when the anime actually wrote a Kanmusu's character better, you know you've got problems. Regarding Kashima, though, is it because she giggles constantly? Is it because she's implied to not be wearing panties? Her wavy sex hair? The narrow eyes? Hate to break it to you guys. But she's a pixie stick, not an Ona hole. Parsley's original artwork may have thrown you off, but take a look at her lines. My god, even just look at her later artwork. Cute as cupcakes! And I'm gonna steal them all! Yo, Zack, you've been playing Concole since the 2013, right? I was wondering which ship girls you haven't gotten, or if you have all ship girls already. The only girls I'm missing up to this point include Yamato, Sakawa, Taiho, Shioi, so basically a bunch of LSC builds. And then a couple event-based drops like Hayashimo, Kazagumo, Okinami, and, uh, of course, how could we ever forget Teruzuki. There's also technically Row 500, but huh, I'm never getting her anytime soon because U511 forever! When they are added to the game, which USN slash allied ship girls would you like to see in Kantai Collection, Zack? There is only one. Just one. The HMS Indefatigable. Hi! Keep up the good work. I have a question for you. What is your favorite DD class and why? And which DD class is your least favorite and why? Thank you for your time, and sorry if there are any mistakes in my English. Novi. Tough questions. Every single Destroyer class has at least a good few adorable members. So I guess I'd decide by which has the least amount of trash! Let's see, the Kagero class has a lot of great members, simply due to their sheer volume, but there are a few pretty forgettable characters laced in there. The Akizuki class has my Dotaru but they've only got three members right now. The German Destroyers are probably my least favorite among the white people, even though I'm mildly fond of them. The Asashio class would be a contender if it didn't have my... my single least favorite DD in the game, Kasumi, stitched to their butts. Hmm. The Akatsuki class are all a bit too small in stature. The Yugumo class have a ton of personality and a great amount of variety, but even they have a couple members I don't particularly care for. Yeah, gonna have to go with the Shirasuyu class for my favorite, because they are all just too frigging great. Seriously, it's a challenge keeping anyone apart from Shigure and Yudachi off of my addendums every time I decide to write one. That includes Samidare and Suzukaze, by the way. Least favorite, though? 
You know, I pick on the Fubukis a lot, but it's gonna have to be the Mutskis. The only Kanmusu in their class that I care about out of, what, 10 members are Kisaragi, not because of the anime, and Hi, Zack. Do you have Yamato and Musashi? I level 103 and I only have Bismarck, and I just recently got it. I have a Musashi. Just not a... Just not a Yamato. <laughs> Zack, seeing the newest update to Akashi's arsenal, I'd want some of your advice. How many guns is enough? I have 235.6 centimeter plus 10, 3 proto 35.6 centimeter, 238 centimeter Kai, 5 381 over 50 millimeter Kai plus 5, 241 centimeter plus 6, and 2 proto 41 centimeter, oh, and 1 16 inch MK7. Would improving the proto 35.6, proto 41, and the 38 centimeter Kai be enough? Thanks for the help. Uh... Oh yeah, I think that sounds pretty good, bro. And now for our final question. Who brought you into Concole? How did you discover the Concole USA group? Looks like we're ending on some big questions. Well, a good friend of mine back during the summer I left high school, his name is Kevin, first mentioned Concole to me. This was back in August of 2013. I was huge into Toho then, and he suggested it to me on the notion that he thought it was similar to Toho and that I might be interested in it. I shrugged him off at the time since not only was Kankole very small potatoes back then, but that period of time was the eve before Zune, the creator of Toho, would be making his first appearance in America the month after at Anime Weekend Atlanta which I would then attend. As a side note, that convention still holds up as one of the greatest and most fun experiences of my life. You can watch the video I made for it on my very old standard definition camera here. It's very nostalgic to me watching it today. However, it would only be a month after that trip that I would recollect what he had said and be reminded of it again by a guy who still goes by the name Haru. He's a fanatic for World War II era stuff. After only two attempts, during November 2013, around the time the fall event was extended due to the infamous regenerating health giving players such an issue. I managed to make it in through Katakawa's lottery system, and since I figured stats were a big deal in this game back then, take note, they still aren't, I picked everybody's favorite MC, Fubuki, as my starter. And, fun fact, that same Fubuki is the one I use to this day. Whenever you see me play in the seasonal events on my Twitch stream, or on my YouTube highlight videos. She's just all grown up now. Anyway, during my early beginnings, I constantly posted my achievements on my Facebook page, and none of my friends were playing at the time. But they quickly took notice and wanted to become fellow admirals themselves. So I linked them to the very primitive version of the wiki we had back in that day and age, and... Through our combined efforts, we decided, hey, there's a bunch of us playing now. Why don't we make a Facebook group where we can share pointers with one another rather than just posting on our walls all the time and spamming everyone around us? In fact, let's name it after the fact that we all live in America. Yeah, that's right. Not only did I help forge Concola USA, I was the first spark to ignite its existence. In fact, I'm apparently the reason a lot of people started playing Kankole. Through one facet or another. It's the six degrees of Zack Teitoku. I'm probably linked to you playing somehow. And that's a wrap for all of the questions I've been asked so far. Feel free to send your questions for the next Q&A session to my Ask FM account, listed here and in the video description below. For more videos like this, please make sure to click that like button, subscribe, and maybe even chime in your own responses to my answers, whether good or bad or somewhere in the middle, down in the comments section. I look forward to seeing what you guys think.